Hi, you guys. It's raining. Yeah, rain's a good thing. <laughs> Welcome to today's vlog. It is officially moving day and it is pouring the rain and storming. And it's just, um, it's not the greatest weather for moving everything in your house. So I anticipate a very messy moving day. We do have movers that have already called and like kind of trying to get out of coming. <laughs> so. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, there's always surprises on moving day and hopefully we're just able to navigate those surprises well. That is my, my goal for today. I have Maddie and Samuel and Solomon and I am headed toward the property management office and I'm gonna go get our keys and um, go unlock the house and then I'm gonna come back to our house and hopefully the movers will be there by then. And there is a massive puddle right here on the entrance of our neighborhood. Oh my goodness. That's like a flood. Yeah. That's a flood, Mommy. So, I'm getting ready to get onto the road, um, but I wanted to start the vlog. So I hope you guys get to see some of our move today. It should be fun, it should be exciting. And uh, I will try to bring you guys along as much as I can. some paperwork so we are official yay 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 I'm headed back to I'm actually gonna head back to our house I think I have some tools in this van that my husband needs and then we will see we will see where we end up today all right I'm at a red light so real quick I was just gonna tell you I talked to Jimmy just now and the moving guys are still not there <laughs> they're 30 minutes late let's just pray that they showed today all right you guys movers are here this is our bedroom broken down. We took the door off of the garage since it's been raining today. Hopefully we can work out of the garage. I am getting ready to take the kids over to the new house. Hang on. Come here. Okay, I'm gonna go get them some food. The movers are here, so I'm gonna try to get out of the way, but we've got pretty much everything packed up and it's kind of a mess it's chaos but it's kind of organized chaos in a very in a very small way <laughs> um i'm gonna try to keep things as organized as possible once they move it all in but yeah i'm just basically doing a once over making sure that i put the most important things in my trunk so that they don't get missing in the shuffle um yeah, there's a couple more things. So I'm gonna make sure that the toilet paper and the paper towels go <laughs> over with us right away. All right, you guys, we are in the car and I'm just so happy that the mover showed up. We're getting ready to go pick up some sausage biscuits for the boys while they work today. And um, I just ran out of baby formula. So I need to go into the store and make sure that baby gets fed today as well. So yeah, my job today is basically going to be taking care of the kids, making sure everybody stays fed, and running things over to the house that is not gonna be going on the moving truck. The house that we're moving into is literally about a mile down the road, so it's very close. Mom, look at that puddle. I know, it's big. Oh my god! Here's the puddle at the beginning of our neighborhood. It's a flood! I'm actually, a little nervous to drive through it. I'm gonna try to go on the edge, but yikes. How deep is it? It's deep. Yeesh. Oh my god. Anyway. <gasps> fun, fun, fun. All right, Um. but yeah, so I'm gonna get some food. I'm gonna, yeah, my job today is to make sure everybody's fed, run things over. I wanna like 
get my um, flowers and my plants and things that I don't want going on the moving truck so that nothing gets damaged. Inevitably, something is always broken and damaged by the time we move from one house to the next. So I'm trying to minimize that, especially since we are not moving far. We're just moving um, right down the road. So things should not be getting, you know, completely trashed. So anyway, the rain has stopped for now and it, that is a blessing. I prayed very, very, very hard for the rain to stop and give us just a break to get this house moved and the radar's looking a lot better and so thank you jesus for answered prayers and i'm just you know the other thing i prayed for this morning was for an, a gentle and quiet spirit and that is my goal so that i'm not um like a grouchy wife today so and mom i just want to be pleasant with my kids and with my husband and with everyone so that is my prayer and I'm committed to surrendering to that. So, all right, enough yabbering. Um, I'm gonna get over here and get some biscuits for everyone. <laughs> all right, you guys, we are here at the new house and I thought I'd give you a quick little tour before everything starts getting loaded in here. It's very loud. And uh, the reason it's loud is because of course there's nothing in here and because <laughs> The baby is interested in the echo that he's hearing <laughs> and he's a little bit nervous to be in here. So he's been hollering a lot. So anyway, let me give you guys a quick tour. All right, so this is the front door. And as soon as you walk in, there's a bathroom here. It's a half bath and a closet. So here is the half bath. And a beautiful window in here. All right, so Samuel, you want to help give the tour? <laughs> All right, so we have a nice little uh, closet for jackets and shoes and such. And then this is the entryway. And it's it's really interesting layout, I would say. So this is going to be the homeschool room. Technically the formal dining room but this will be the homeschool room for us. And we're excited about that. And then it has another little area right here. I'm thinking maybe, I'm not sure where the piano is going in this house, so we'll have to figure that out. But um, there is also another closet here, which is really big. Wow, I don't even know how big this was. Oh my, that's a very big, look at that. I can think of lots of good uses for this closet. <laughs> All right. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Mom, this is like a tornado place. Uh huh. It's a perfect tornado place, actually. It's a tornado place. Yeah. This is a tornado place. Yeah. What is this? I don't know. Mom, this is a tornado shelter. This is a tornado shelter. Pretty cool, huh? That's a tornado shelter. Or a hurricane for us. Oh. Okay, so. Here is the door to the garage. Let me turn the brightness down a little bit. It might help. This is the door to the garage. And then the stairs going up to the second level. And then this is the living room. And then that is the Eden kitchen area there. And then this is the kitchen. <laughs> He's loving it. Don't hit your head on the window. Maddie, 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 put the phone down if you're going to be picking him up. Um, so anyway, that's the kitchen area. I absolutely love this kitchen. Fridge. And then this is the laundry room. Maddie, he's so loud. All right, so then we have the pantry here. Thank the Lord for a pantry. 
it's okay. It's like, just walk. He'll follow you. All right. Then we have another closet here. And then this is the master. Has really nice vaulted ceilings. And much less of an echo now. <laughs> this is the master bath. Let's see. I'm just going to try to turn some lights on. So anyway, here's the shower. And then this is the master bathroom. And then here is like the towel closet. Here is the master closet there. And then the toilet room in here. So yeah, I love it so much. I love how white it is and bright. And the backyard is it's just amazing. It's fenced in and beautiful. Let's check the backyard out. So we have the screened in porch here. And then we have a nice fenced in. It's wet out there. It's wet. We have a beautiful fenced in backyard out here. Yeah. And it goes all the way back. I hope you guys aren't fogging up. It is so humid. It's been raining all day well, for the past three days. All right, I had to clean all the mud off of this little guy since he got covered in mud. Let's go upstairs. You want to show him upstairs? Yep. Okay, let's go upstairs real quick. You want to show your room? Yeah. All right, so the stairs curve around like this. Right. Has a nice little loft area up here. Right here. Okay, let's go in order. So this is Maddie's room. Yeah. And it's nice and bright. Huh? I like it. She has a nice closet. Yeah. Why too? Yep. And Maddie has a bathroom in here. She has a nice bathroom. Yep. Okay, let's go in here. All right, next up is Solomon's room. You want to show your room? Mine. No, no, that's not yours. Mine. Yeah. This is Solomon and Samuel's room. What's this? And you have a nice closet? Yeah. My, uh, my toy. Yeah, you can put your toys in there? Mm -hmm. And Solomon is going to share this room with Samuel. It's a nice room. Light on to. Yep. See? No. Are you turning yeah. up? You're turning the light on? Yeah. Yep, there it is. Okay. And what else do you want to show them? Right there. Mason's right there. room? Yeah. Okay. Too. You I like? Have a closet too. Yeah, he has a closet too. Mm -hmm. All right, so Mason's room, I think, is the biggest. Yeah. Okay. And his room, let's see, focus camera, has this uh, nice little area right here that I thought would work so well for either his dresser or his uh, gaming desk. He has also the piano. And so he has a lot of furniture that he wants to have in here. So um, he got this room here. And then there is also an adjoining. This bathroom joins his bedroom. And it also joins the hallway. So it's a nice big bathroom. Has a really nice closet. And then it has the toilet room with a beautiful window in there. And then you can go back out to the hallway through this door. So the layout is really, um, it's pretty different than anything we've ever had and I really like it. I think it's beautiful. Um, excuse the hair you guys. Like I said, it's been raining <laughs> all day. Um, but anyway, the layout is really beautiful. My favorite part of this house is the natural light. I am very much affected by brightness and light and I like almost seasonal effective. Um, I really need a lot of light to be my best mentally and have a lot of energy. So that is the main reason I love this house is the natural light and of course the really beautiful kitchen is and the backyard. Those are my favorite parts of the house. The kids have a fenced in backyard. 
We're gonna get them all situated in here very soon with their backyard toys, um, hopefully some play equipment, the trampoline. And so I am ecstatic to have that for the kids. This community also has a swimming pool and a playground and there's just a lot of families and children in this neighborhood. The neighborhood that we moved from is not very child friendly. It's more retirement age people. And this is a completely different atmosphere and I think it'll fit our family so much better. So we're really excited. I need to go back to the house now and get some tape to hang up my signs. I am labeling the rooms for the movers. Um, I have these cards and each box is color coded so that they'll know where to put the boxes. And so I need to get some painter's tape so that these will not be taking the paint off the molding. And it is so loud in here that I should probably stop vlogging and get back to work, but I definitely wanted to show you guys the house. All right, we are back at the old house. Maddie's helping me out by feeding the baby. Solomon's on screen time. Jacob and his girlfriend are here helping. We've got lots of helpers today. All right, so funny thing. So we got in the car to head back to um, the house. I needed to grab some tape, which by the way, I still forgot to get. And um, just a minute, just a minute. And um, I wrecked my van. <laughs> so it's definitely not, it's not funny, but it was kind of fun. It, it's funny now, sort of, but not really. But um, I had the trunk open in the garage and in my hurry to get out of here, I forgot the trunk was open and I hit the trunk on the garage door. I didn't make much damage, none to the house. I damaged my van a little bit. hard here because I have nowhere to put the kids like I have nowhere to put the baby he's exhausted he's screaming I'm gonna try to feed him I'm gonna have Maddie get a blanket out of the car but I totally need a crib I should have brought the pack and play shoulda coulda woulda it's just crazy but I'm trying to figure out how to like sort of contain him I also do not have a gate to block off the stairs and so he's fighting the stairs and so it's just kind of crazy um I'm very much looking forward to the moving truck getting here and getting some furniture in the house. So the internet guy, uh, uh that's too rough. The internet guy is supposed to be here uh, any minute actually. And so we will have internet. No, don't hit. So internet will be first thing to be installed, which is amazing so that we can, you know, use our Roku's and stuff for the TV tomorrow. 
and they headbutted. It's just one thing after another right now with kids. <laughs> it's just hard. It's just hard. We're just hanging out. We're hanging out and uh, trying to trying to make it through. At least well, Maddie's on the phone. Yeah, because I'm watching on this. It's like the best movie you can watch. It's called Yesterday. Yesterday. And um, it's where like. The parents say yes all day? Yeah, and it's where, like, the, they have three kids, and the three kids, um, like, do funny things to their moms and stuff. And oh. It's really funny. Yeah, and I know. It's yes, they did raise PG. Yeah. So I'm going to try to feed him this bottle, see if we can get him situated. Hang on, hang on, come here. Hi. Watch out, buddy. Hi. Do you not want it? No? Okay. No, no, Solomon, don't touch. All right, so that's a no-go. And I just realized something that I didn't realize when we first, the thing is, we've seen this house exactly one time, and then we decided to move in. Solly, try not to be too rough with Samuel, please. You've already heard him twice today. Um, and I, I really couldn't remember all the details about the house and I totally neglected to realize that I don't have a master tub anymore. There's no tub in here. And so this is the shower. Of course, it's an amazing shower and I'm not trying to be like super spoiled. I can use the bathtub upstairs, but um, it's just something I overlooked. I was like, wait a second, I don't have a bathtub. But um, small thing, right? Very small thing. There's two other bathrooms that have tubs here. So, um, yeah, that'll be fine. Because I usually take a bath about every night. And that's the way that I deal with back pain. So, anyway. Um, yeah. I'm going to hang out with the kids for a while and wait for the moving truck. And then once they get here, I will try to show you guys the process.